I want to say something. I want to say, I don't need you for nothing. I don't need you for nothing. That's something I can't say. You know what I'm not saying all this and saying all that. Well, the Bible says, the Bible says that we are to pray for one another. That we are to hold each other up. And we are to bear each other burdens. But if God has given that commandment, then God is going to hold that person accountable. I'm not. I said, I don't need you for me. The people I had said I was going through something, somebody made a, a sermon out of it. That's not what I said. The enemy might be trying to scare me. The enemy might be trying to scare me. But the Bible says, I know I need my I need to check my pride and pray. The Bible says. <clears throat> Don't be afraid. He tells God tells Joshua, only, only be strong and courageous. The Bible says in Revelation that the fearful and the unbelieving will burn in fire. The Bible says in Psalms 91, thou shalt not fear the terror of the night, nor the error that flies in the day, the pestilence that walks in dark, so the destruction that wastes that noon day. The Bible says, I'm going to help you. I'm going to hold you by your right hand. He say, D don't fear, because I'm going to hold your right hand. Somebody said, let me tell you how to walk by faith and fear and have fear. And walk. Uh -uh, I don't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that I was afraid. I said, I'm dealing with something. So I might have misinterpreted it. The enemy trying to scare me, but I didn't say I was afraid. I didn't say that. But I don't need you for nothing. For nothing. Yeah, check, your, check yourself. Check me why I don't need you for nothing. Now, let me sit here and and do what I'm supposed to do. Because people, people are going to think it's funny. But guess what? But guess what? You the one need a stomach. You the one need a stomach. I don't need you for that. You need a stomach. You, and you need a beautician. <laughs> you need a personal trainer. <laughs> You need a dietitian. <laughs> so they're trying to make a certain matter of something. You misinterpret what the word of God say. I say only be strong. The Bible said that God sent out some spies, and the spies came back shaking and peeing on it. <laughs> And the Bible say that God let them die. <laughs> so he let them die. He said he sent out some new spies. He said they came back and they said there are giants in the land, but we can take them. We can take them in the name of God. And he said they came back and they took it. He said God, God told him walk around the wall. And then blow the horn. And say the wall was fell down. Now, you have to read it because from the, interpret from the interpretation of the picture is that the walls drove themselves down into the ground. God drove the walls down into the ground like a hammer would drive a nail into something. If you read it carefully, it's, some people perceive that as the walls fell down. And that's what I'm saying. You misinterpret what I said. Say the enemy trying to scare me. I ain't say I was scared. I said the enemy trying to scare me. That's what I said. That's what I said. Now, what are you trying to do? You? <laughs> Go ahead on. Go ahead on minding my business, y'all. Let me get in the word. Let me get in the world so I can be sure in the name of Jesus that me and my family walking in victory. Trying to talk about somebody. Go ahead on, y'all. <laughs> 